Hi students, uh, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained uh, the syntax of the class. So let us see again uh, the syntax of the class. So in the syntax of the class, I explained about the data members and the access specifiers. Uh, in this video, we will see how the member functions will be present in the class. So now let us see the again the syntax class, class name. access specifier sorry this is a colon access specifier uh, data members next member function so in the member function you have to write the required code whatever you want and then you are closing the class function uh, class with a semicolon so this is the syntax of the class so I explained about the uh, access specifiers like the public, private and protected. Public, private, you can make your data as public, uh, pu private and protected. So the different uh, data members are nothing but the variables based on your access specifier. The variables can be accessed within the class or outside the class. Now coming to the member functions. So what are the member functions in the class? So the member functions, the member function in classes, in classes can be defined in two ways. That can be defined inside class definition, inside class definition or outside class definition okay a member function can be defined inside a class definition or outside a class definition so if you want to define a member function outside a class definition if you want to define a member function outside a class definition you have to follow one rule that is we have to use scope resolution operator you have to use the scope resolution operator. This is the scope resolution operator. So if you are using the class outside the class definition, another class outside the class definition, we have to use the scope resolution operator along along with class name and function name. So that scope along with the scope resolution operator you have to declare the class name as well as the function name. So now let us see how this class uh, uh, member functions will be present inside the class definition and outside the class definition. Let us take the one example. Suppose let us take first inside class. Okay, so inside class definition, how it? So one thing you have to be noted in inside class, there is no need of scope resolution operator. So the syntax for this is class. Let us take circle is the class name. Access specifier. First is a private. So for private, I am using the, the data member is the double radius. So radius is the data variable which is a double. The data type is double. Now coming to public. So I said the methods that you are declaring in the class should make it as a public whereas the variables should keep it as a private. So public. So what are the methods? Circle. So for this circle the radius is suppose 0.00. .00. This is one function and next is circle int r. This is another function and next void set radius. That is the double r. So r is the variable name and the double is the data type. And here radius is equal to r. So here in the circle, you are just taking radius is equal to 0. And if you take the double R, the radius is R. 
Now take the another function double get diameter. Okay, here written radius star 2. Okay, and now end the class. Now end the class. So this is we declared the class inside class definition. So here this uh, this member and this or the so defined inside class. So a class that is defined inside a class. So this is a class. So inside the class we again declare the circle is one of the class circle int r is another class okay and here the get diameter and raise these are the functions that are present in the class. So inside the class we declared everything. So now let us see the outside class definition. So the member functions so here the main concept is the member functions that are used inside the class definition or outside the class definition. So here the member functions that are uh, declared inside the class definition. So these are the member functions. Okay. So these member functions was defined inside a class. Already I defined here. Radius is defined. Okay. Uh, void set radius double r. I given a value r is equal to radius. And for double get data the radi return radius star 2. Means I already defined uh, the method inside a class. Now let us see outside the class how uh, the member functions will be defined outside the class. So let us see outside the class. So same class circle private Declare the variable double radius. So everything whatever I have written here I am just copying this public. The functions are circle. Radius is equal to 0, 0.0. And then circle. Int r is another function. Next to void. Set radius double r that is radius is equal radius is equal to r i declared okay so next double get diameter so here written radius into 2 okay so next uh, double get area so I close the class so here uh, a definition define the class I declare just the functions so here also whatever I written I just written here now here the main concept is here I am writing the member functions uh, outside the class definition. I am just outside the class definition. I am using those member functions. So I said if you are using the member functions outside the class definition. You have to use a scope resolution operator. Okay. Along with class name and function name. So how you will write the circle is the class name. Scope resolution operator. And the function name. So what is the function name I am calling? Just I am calling this. Circle. Int r. Okay. A member function that is defined outside the class. So how I will define outside the class. So class name with scope resolution operator. And then function name. So here this is a circle int r I am calling. Now here I am writing. Radius is equal to r okay so this function i call outside the class okay and i declare the variable now i am just calling this here i didn't declare anything so just i am calling this how i call outside the 
class this member function write the uh, double so this is the double just write the circle as the class name scope resolution operator get area is the function name so inside that get area i am writing the operation what it has to be do return radius star radius star 22.0 by 7 means i add in some operation a calculation that should be written that is a get area of this circle so this is a how you have to uh, call uh, define the member functions outside the class so here everything i had written inside the class only but whereas i just taken these uh, uh, functions and i am defining these functions outside the class how i defining this outside the class by taking the class name scope resolution operator uh, and then uh, function name so there i am declaring the oper or writing the operation instead of writing here itself Okay, instead of writing here itself, I am writing outside the class by calling with the class name. Okay, so this is uh, uh, how you write the member functions inside and outside the class. So, this is a class declaration. In the class de declaration, we had seen first you have to write the class uh, keyword followed by class name, open braces. There you have to write the access specifiers declare the data members and write the methods means the functions data member functions and then you just close the uh, flower bracket with the semicolon that is the syntax so here i explained about the access specifiers data members and different types of member functions that you write the code uh, inside the class definition and outside the class definition thank you